Wow. Just shot the video and I wasn't filming. How cool is that? I need more of this. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the question that I've gotten so many times over the years, which is, should I be using Pro Tools or should I use Logic? Do I need to use Pro Tools or can I get away with using Logic? Something like that. And the answer is quite simply a really fun answer to give, which is, it depends. I always hated getting that answer when I was coming up because it was just like, ugh, just give me the answer. Let me give you some context. When I was first starting recording forever ago, I started using neither of these. I started with Audacity and then I used Cool Edit Pro. I was using a Dell. It was just a eighth inch cable line out into the sound card. Anyway, a couple years later, I was able to borrow a Pro Tools rig from a friend of a friend. At that time, it came with a 002 rack hardware and the company was actually DigiDesign at the time. The way it worked is you could not use Pro Tools without the hardware. And now you can just use it with an iLock and a subscription or a license to use it. So when I finally got everything set up and I got the program going on my computer, it was very interesting and a little bit intimidating for someone who did not know how to use Pro Tools at the time. However, I wound up figuring out what I needed to to be able to record the tracks at the time. Long story short, I had to return the Pro Tools rig to the friend of a friend. And then I wound up going out buying my own interface and then I got Logic Pro 8 at the time which was the you know the newest version of Logic and I think I spent a solid two or three years living in Logic so I learned how to do everything that I needed to do at the time in Logic I was in a way biased towards Logic I loved it and now today I still love Logic it's great however I did move to LA go to a trade school and I learned and was certified in Pro Tools and in Logic so now I I use both to the answer, it depends, it really does depend. If you're hiring me as an audio engineer, I am working exclusively in Pro Tools. Uh, if I'm recording, editing, or mixing, uh, no, no questions about it, I am using Pro Tools. Now, if I am doing something creative, where uh, whether that's songwriting or composing or producing a song for somebody else, I might be using Logic. I probably am using Logic. There's something about the user experience with Logic that's just so mindless. It's so logical, it's so, yeah, I know. It's really great, I, I love it. It's easy to use and you don't have to be an engineer to really use it. So that's, there's something really powerful about that. Now I will say Logic has that Apple thing where it's super sexy, it's just attractively easy to use and everything is sort of, it's sort of set up in a way that's very conducive for songwriting and creating. Pro Tools is more of a powerhouse. It's a little more static, it's a bit less sexy, if you will. Um, it's a little bit more PC kind of a layout and operational, but however, you can do anything in Pro Tools. And the, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, it's it depends on what you're doing, what your budget is, and you're going to have to make that decision for yourself. So let's talk about Pro Tools. Pro Tools, Pro Tools can do anything and everything. And now it's just gotten even that much crazier with the cloud and, and, and just all kinds of crazy stuff. Like you can just do anything, but it is definitely a beast when it comes to doing very highly detailed work efficiently and effectively. So I, I use them both. There's a couple special things about using Logic. One of them is the comping. Comping in Logic is sweet. I feel like if you aren't an engineer and you're not doing this regularly, you could still comp a good track. Now, comping is when you're recording a section of a part and you, a section of a song, a part of a song, and you're doing multiple passes of it and the track is cataloging all of the passes. And what Logic allows you to do when you comp it is to just select the best parts of each pass and it does it so intuitively that it just takes no time it's effortless it's awesome i love it automatic crossfades sick so sick also another silly thing that i really love about it is the the two buttons that you have in the edit window which are the add new track and the duplicate track button i know it's super easy to do in pro tools but just having those two buttons right there when you have a vst loaded or a drum sound loaded or whatever you just hit that duplicate track button that is cool. Now in Pro Tools, there's a couple things that I 
excel at that I don't excel at as much in logic and that could just be me but beat detective using beat detective for time correction and pro tools I can do anything with that it is so wicked and the it at the end of the day these are both just tools how you use them and what you use them on is is up to you but I'll tell you what I've done some pretty incredible stuff with beat detective and you can do it so fast I love that Another thing about Pro Tools that I think is a must know is the session data import function. Man, if you if you are not using session data import, you are wasting time. If you're not using the session data import function, learn that and then implement it because if you're doing multiple songs on a project and you and you have like a thing and you just it's awesome. I'll I'll we'll do we'll talk about that another time. So session data import, beat detective, love it and logic, the buttons and the comping sick another thing that logic has is the drummer track which is such a powerful creative tool when you're writing and coming up with ideas you start a session with a template and it comes with the drummer track already loaded with a drum part already loaded you set the tempo boom already have drums you can just start coming up with the chord it, it's like one of those things where if you're if you have an idea and you just want to go logics logics your your thing now, both programs have the ability to bounce offline, which is great. Finally, Pro Tools came around. Uh, Logic's had it for a while, but when you finish your project and you want to export it, you use bounce offline, and man, it just, it goes, you don't have to listen to the whole song to export it. It just does it offline, and that is huge. Thank you, Pro Tools, for figuring that out. I'm sure a lot of film editors, uh, music editors, are very thankful to have that. Um, that's big. Now, a separation of these two programs is going to come down to the cost. Now, Logic, I believe you can get on the App Store for $1.99. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, and then Pro Tools, there's a few different ways, depending on what interface you're using and how you want to pay for it. They have a subscription model, and then they have an out, outright purchase model. So, depending on the budget, again, these are both tools. At the end of the day, it depends on how you like to use your tools, what you're using them on. Hopefully this video, my explanation, will help you wrap your head around what you're doing and what's gonna be more suitable for you. I use both of them. It is very not cost effective, but you know what? Uh, Logic is a one-time purchase, so it, it, you know maybe it is. Oh, and another thing, th this is, t by the way, this is not sponsored. Logic comes with a huge library of virtual instruments. If you're creating that's going to be something you're going to want to know about. Okay. All right. We'll wrap this up. Um, if you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up for me. It really helps out my channel, and I appreciate that. I'm having a lot of fun coming up with these ideas and shooting these videos. If you're not subscribed and you like this content, hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell at the bottom. So next time I upload a video, you'll see it. We can do hang out together and talk about some more stuff. I'm going to do some more in-depth videos talking about both of these programs and some of the features that I love in the near future. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. I just feel so good.